vamos a, estar, oh, vamos a empezar la presentación. Good evening, everyone, uh, and thank you for joining us tonight in our community meeting for Greater North Side Infrastructure Improvement 2018 Bond Year 2 Contract 4 City Project Number 101451. Buenas noches a todos. Gracias por acompañarnos esta noche en esta reunión comunitaria para las mejoras de infraestructura del Greater Northside, el bono del 2018, año 2, contrato 4. Uh, my name is Meg Zaki, and I am a project manager with the Transportation and Public Work Department, Capital Delivery Team, and I will be the project manager for this project during the construction. Su nombre es Maguette Saki y es el gerente de proyectos del equipo de entrega de, de capital del Departamento de Transporte y Obras Públicas. Um, él será el director del proyecto y de este proyecto durante la construcción. This presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and give you a little bit of a heads up about what to expect with the upcoming construction. Esta presentación está destinada a brindarle información sobre el alcance de este proyecto que está sucediendo en su área y darle un poco de información sobre lo que puede esperar en la próxima construcción. Uh, in this presentation, I will talk in detail about the project overview and the scope of the work. En esta presentación se hablará en detalle de sobre la descripción general del proyecto y el alcance del trabajo. Also, I will provide you with some information on the phasing and schedule of the construction, so you can know when we'll start and finish the construction in your street. También la proporcionar información sobre las fases del calendario y el horario de la construcción y cómo empiezan y terminan la construcción en sus calles. Um, during the meeting, you can send your question through the chat button in uh, WebEx meeting. The chat button is located in the lower right side of WebEx screen. At the end of the meeting, I will answer all your questions. Si tienen preguntas, ahí abajo a la derecha tienen un chat button. Ahí pueden preguntar um, cuando, durante la presentación. Y también al fin de la presentación van a, van a tomar preguntas. Uh, if you are joining the meeting from your phone or you cannot send your question, please feel free to unmute yourself and ask your question at the end of the meeting. Si tiene preguntas, si tienen el teléfono um, y no pueden mandar su pregunta, entonces puede uh, unmute uh, y luego también puede preguntar. So, in this project, we have nine st streets as following. Ellis Avenue uh, from Northwest 37 to Northwest 38th Street. En este proyecto tiene nueve calles uh, seguidas, Avenida Ellis, desde Noroeste 37 hasta Noroeste 38. Uh, Northwest 26th Street from Lydon Avenue to Macy Avenue. Y en Noroeste 26, la calle 26, desde Linden Avenue hasta el Macy Avenue. Um, Northwest 25th Street from uh, Hannah Avenue to uh, West Long Avenue. You can go ahead and read them all. Uh, Bell Avenue from Northwest 23rd Street to Hannah Avenue. Northwest 23rd Street from uh, Bell Avenue to Dodge Street. Dodge Street from Northwest 23rd to Northwest 24th Street. So, lo que las calles son del noroeste, uh, la calle noroeste 25, desde Hannah Avenue hasta Long Avenue, y luego también. Bella Avenue, desde la calle Noroeste 23 hasta Hannah Avenue. 
y también en noroeste uh, 23 desde Bell Avenue hasta Dodge y luego Dodge Street desde el noroeste 23 hasta el noroeste 24. Clinton Avenue from uh, Northwest 14th Street to Northwest 20th Street. Lincoln Avenue from Grand Avenue to West Central Avenue. And North Houston Street from West North Side Drive to West Central Avenue. También al Clinton, um, desde el noroeste 14, la calle 14, hasta el noroeste 20, la calle noroeste 20. Y luego también Lincoln Avenue desde Grand Avenue hasta el oeste de Central Avenue y luego en la calle de North Houston desde el oeste de Northside Drive hasta el oeste de Central Drive. Uh, in this slide, you can see the existing condition of the streets. The first photo on the left is from 23rd Street and it, you can see damaged asphalt paving with no concrete curb and gutter. The second photo uh, is from Dodge Street, and also there is no curb and gutter, and uh, we have some drain and water bonding issue on this street. En esta página puede ver las condiciones existentes en las calles, y la primera foto es de la calle 23, y como puede ver también el pavimento de asfalto dañado, Um, sin acera y sin y, y drenaje um, de cemento o concreto. Um, también la siguiente, la siguiente foto de, de Dodge Street, también no hay acera um, ni cuñeta ahí y también hay problemas del desagüe pulgar y um, el estacionamiento. In this slide, we have two photos from uh, 25th Street, and also, as you can see, we have damaged asphalt, uh, some missing curb on the gutter, and uh, damaged concrete driveways. Y aquí tienen estas dos fotos, um, son de la calle 25, el pavimento del asfalto dañado, y también entradas que están dañadas. And these two photos from uh, North Houston Street and uh, Bell Avenue, and also, as you can see, the, the asphalt is in very bad condition. Además, estas dos fotos de North Houston y de Bell Avenue también pueden ver que, que el asfalto es, está en malas condiciones. Uh, now, let us talk about the proposed improvement and what we are going to do in each street. Ahora hablamos en la mejora pro, um, propuesta y qué, vamos, qué van a hacer um, en estas calles, cada calle. So, on Ellis Avenue, uh, we will replace the old water line. We will replace the old sanitary sewer line at the, at the alley between Northwest 37th Street and Northwest 38th Street. Uh, we are constructing new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width and 10 feet length. We are also constructing new concrete curb and gutter and concrete sidewalk on both sides of the street. The street will receive a new asphalt paving. So, lo que um, reemplazan las líneas de agua también re la reemplazan las. Um, las líneas viejas del drenaje sanitario en el callejón entre las calles noroeste 37 y el noroeste 38. También um, están construyendo nuevas entradas de concreto o cemento um, con un ancho mínimo de 11 pies y una longitud de 10 pies. Y luego también están construyendo nuevas aceras um, y cuñetas de cemento o concreto y las aceras también basadas en cemento en ambos lados, en los dos lados, y también la calle recibirá um, nueva pavimentación, um, pavimentación um, asfáltica. Uh, 
Uh, North West 26th Street, uh, we are going to construct new concrete driveways, uh, also with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Uh, we are going to construct new concrete curb and gutter and concrete sidewalk on the east side of the street. And uh, the street also will receive a new asphalt paving. And están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento concreto, otra vez un ancho de mínimo de 11 pies y longitud de 10 pies. También están construyendo nuevas aceras y canaletas de concreto. Um, y también la calle recibirá una nueva pavimentación asfáltica. Northwest uh, 25 Street, um, we are going to replace the old water line in the street. We are replacing also the old sanitary sewer uh, line between Grayson Avenue to 2414 Northwest 25 Street, um, the one here in the green line. Uh, also, we are going to construct new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot widths and 10 feet lengths. We are going also to construct a new concrete curb and gutter and concrete sidewalk on one side of the street. Also, the street will receive a new asphalt building. Aquí en la calle en Noroeste 25, um, realizan um, la vieja línea que, de agua que tienen ahí y luego también um, reemplazan la línea vieja del alcantarillo sanitario, del drenaje sanitario y en la, entre la Grayson Avenue y también uh, en noroeste calle 25. Um, están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento o concreto un, eh, con un ancho mínimo de 11 pies y una longitud de 10 pies. Y también están construyendo nuevos bordillos uh, de concreto y una acera de concreto y cemento a un lado y también recibirá pavimentación asfalto. Uh, Build Avenue, we will replace the old uh, water line and also we are going to construct new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Uh, also the same, we are going to uh, construct a new concrete curb and gutter and sidewalk on both sides of the street. Also the street will receive a new asphalt paving. Y en la Bell Avenue, también reemplazan la vieja línea de agua que tienen ahí. Están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento o concreto, también un ancho mínimo 11 pies y una longitud de 10 pies. Um, también están construyendo nuevos um, canaletas, bordillos de concreto, todo cemento, um, las aceras también a un lado y recibir la um, pavimentación de asfalto. Uh, Northwest 23rd Street and Dodge Street, uh, uh, we are going to replace the old uh, water lines and we are also replacing the sanitary sewer line at the alley between um, Dodge Street and Bell Avenue, the one in the green line. We are also going to construct um, concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. Also, we are going to construct new uh, concrete curb and gutter, and the street, uh, both the streets will receive a new asphalt paving. Um, también reemplazan las viejas líneas de agua aquí um, en, el, en la calle 23 y Dodge, el reemplazo de la línea del el alcantarillo, el drenaje sanitario, que está vieja, también van a reemplazar todo esto. Y um, ahí entre la Dodge y la Bell Avenue, también están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento o concreto con un, con un ancho mínimo de 11 pies y longitud de 10 pies. También están construyendo los nuevos cordillos y canaletas de concreto um, y las aceras y luego también una nueva pa pavimentación de asfalto. Uh, Clinton Avenue. Uh, we are going to replace the old water line uh, and also we are going to construct concrete driveways um, with the same uh, 11 feet width and 10 feet length. Also, we are going to construct concrete curb and gutter and concrete sidewalk on both sides of Clinton Avenue. 
and the street will also receive a new asphalt building. También ahí van a, en la calle de Clinton, um, reemplazar la vieja línea de agua que está allí también. Están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento y otra vez al un ancho mínimo de 11 pies y longitud de 10 pies. Y luego también están construyendo nuevos bordillos y canaletas de concreto y las aceras también um, en ambos lados y también recibirá pavimento de asfalto. Um, Lincoln Avenue uh, also is the same. Uh, we are going to replace the old water line. Also, uh, the concrete driveways will be replaced with new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 11, uh, 10 feet length. We are going to put a uh, new concrete curb on the gutter and concrete side walk on both sides, and the street will receive a new asphalt paving. Y la calle de Lincoln también re reemplazan las viejas líneas de agua. También están construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento y, y concreto al ancho otra vez de 11 pies y una longitud de 10 pies. Y luego también están construyendo nuevos bordillos y canaletas de, de concreto, las aceras en ambos lados, en los dos lados. Y también recibirá nueva pavimentación de asfalto. Uh, North Houston Street, uh, we are going to replace the old water line. Uh, also, we are going to uh, replace the old concrete concrete driveways with new concrete driveways with minimum 11 foot width and 10 feet length. We are putting new concrete curb and gutter and uh, sidewalk on both sides, and the street will receive a new concrete paving. También en la calle de North Houston, reemplazan la línea vieja de agua y también construyendo nuevas entradas de cemento, uh, otra vez al ancho de 11 pies y longitud de 10 pies. También están construyendo los bordillos, canaletas de cemento y concreto, um, las aceras también de dos lados, de los dos lados, y también recibirá pavimentación de asfalto. Uh, in this slide, you can see the proposed improvement. So every street in this project will look like that when we will finish the construction. Uh, you will have new asphalt bedding, new concrete curb and gutter, and new concrete driveways. En esa página puede ver la, la mejora pro, propuesta. Ahí pueden ver que cada calle en ese proyecto se verá um, cómo se, se verá cuando termine la construcción. Tendrá pavimento de asfalto nuevo, um, los, las aceras, bordillos, todo eso, uh, cemento nue con cemento nuevo y también um, las entradas. Also, by the end of the construction, every street will have a um, new concrete sidewalk and new ADA ramps. También van a tener um, los, uh, las aceras de concreto de cemento y también nuevas um, aceras de, y rampas con ADA. <coughs> Here is the most important part in uh, my presentation. This slide shows you our expected phasing and the schedule of the construction. The project duration is 540 calendar days or 18 months. Aquí puede ver um, la parte más, es la parte más importante de la presentación. Um, ahí muestra la fase de espera y el calendario de la construcción, la duración del proyecto, um, como naturales, como 18 meses. So, before I go in detail in the project schedule, I would like to make um, everyone aware that these dates are estimated. Uh, we'll do our best to stick with this schedule, but um, as you know, we may be a little bit late or uh, on some streets or maybe ahead of schedule on, on some streets. This will depend on the weather condition and rains during the construction. 
Antes de entrar en detalle del calendario del proyecto, le gustaría informar de, a, a todos que esas fechas son estimadas. Harán todo lo posible para uh, poder hacerlo en, en, esa, en esas fechas y calendario, pero también sabe que es posible que llegue un poco tarde um, a algunas calles um, que es, o también pueden estar adelantadas en otras calles. Um, eso dependerá en la con, condición de las lluvias du, durante la construcción. So, uh, in this project, we will start construction on November 11, which is uh, this Wednesday after tomorrow on Clinton Avenue. And we anticipate to complete the work there by April 23rd, 2021. North okay. Houston Avenue will start on January 4th uh, to uh, July Uh, 30, 2021. Northwest 26th Street uh, will start on March 29 to May 6, 2021. Um, Lincoln Avenue will start on February 8, 2021 to July 16, 2021. Northwest 25 will start on May 29, 2021 to December 10, 2021. Northwest 23rd and Dodge Street will start on July 26 to January 18, 2022. Bell Avenue will start on October 6 to January 18, 2022. And at the end, Ellis Avenue, sorry, Ellis Street will be uh, starting on October 14 to February 11, 2022. Okay. Entonces comenzarán con la construcción el 11 de noviembre, que es este miércoles en el Clinton Avenue, y luego la anticipación uh, de completar el trabajo para, es para el 23 de abril, abril del 2021. También ahí puede ver que, um, que empiezan con Clinton y luego van para la calle de North Houston, que es en enero 4 del año que viene, del 2021, también en noroeste. 26, la calle del noroeste 26, empieza en, en marzo del 29 del 2020, uh, 2021, y luego también en Lincoln Avenue, que empieza en febrero, febrero 8 del 2021 hasta el julio, y luego la calle noroeste 25 en mayo 2021 hasta diciembre, y luego el noroeste 23 y el Dodge. La calle de Dodge es el julio 26, 2021 hasta en enero del 2022. Bell Avenue en octubre del año que viene, el 2021. Y luego el Ellis Street en octubre 14 del 2021. Um, once again, the total project duration uh, will be 540 calendar days. Y serán como 540 uh, días en calendario. Uh, here is my phone number and my email address. Please don't hesitate to contact me if you need any information. Uh, Tammy Vaughn is a city inspector uh, on this project. So uh, she will be your first point of contact. She will be available on your street on a daily basis. Aquí está su número de teléfono y dirección uh, o correo electrónico. No deben ponerse en contacto con él si necesita información. También Tammy Vaughn es la inspectora de construcción uh, de la ciudad. Y este trabajo será su primer punto de contacto también. Ella estará disponible um, en sus, en sus ca calles también. Um, now I hope I covered everything in this presentation. I am sorry that we couldn't meet in person due to the public health concern, but again, thank you all for taking the time to listen. Ya se acabó la presentación. Um, se dijo que perdona que, que no puedo tener esto en, um, en frente de ustedes um, porque todo lo que está pasando, pero si tienen preguntas, ya es um, tiempo para preguntar, por favor. Uh, before uh, we start the question, I saw uh, Ms. Myra Calibus, our city director, join the meeting. 
uh, I want I would like to welcome here and uh, see if you want to speak or add something before we start the question. Yes, I have a question about the work going on on Ellis Avenue. Uh, okay, one minute. Uh, Ms. Myra Calibus. What was that? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Now this is the time to listen to your question. Uh, let us start first with the question came uh, in the chat, and uh, after that you can uh, unmute yourself and uh, start asking your question. Maybe I'll see some question came in the chat. And Maggie, we have we have several. I think we've answered uh, a majority of them, uh, but I'll run through them real quick. Uh, the first question is: Is it just the streets, or uh, will there sidewalks be included, particularly on 26th? Uh, and we have another concern about Dodge streets. Okay, so on 26th, uh, yes, we have uh, we are going to replace the driveways, and we are going to put curb and gutters uh, and concrete sidewalk on the east side of the street. in addition to the asphalt building. All right, thank you. Uh, how about Dodge? Can we take a look at Dodge? Uh, Dodge Street, uh, also on Dodge Street, we are going to uh, put new concrete driveways uh, in addition to the asphalt building. Uh, we don't have a sidewalk there on Dodger Street. Okay, we actually have several uh, several questions on Dodge. Uh, Ramiro, can you unmute and just um, go over some of the concerns that you have? Uh, I think there's a driveway issue. Can you that? Si tiene preguntas, señor Ramirez, por favor, pregunta y aquí podemos tener la conversación. Hola, Brenda. ¿Sí me escucha? Sí. Sí. Sí, sí. Quería saber acerca de, de la Dodge. El, el inspector no me quiere pasar la inspección de, la, de las casas porque no tengo el, el, el driveway, el approach que le dicen. Ok. So, sí. he's still having issues with his inspection being passed because he doesn't have a driveway, but he didn't want to, his thing was he didn't want to build a driveway if they were going to come in and redo all of that stuff anyways within the next year or early. Um, let's see, whenever that says early next year, he didn't want to do um what he needed outside of that, the driveway and stuff, if it was just going to be retorn. Okay, so our planning uh, to start Dodge Street uh, by July of next year, and uh, we are going to start with the utility work first, like water and sewer. So, um, Right now, I'm not sure if we can do that uh, early next year, but our schedule to show that we are going to start, I can say with this schedule, we are going to start on Dodge Street maybe by September 2021. Um, so you'll be starting with the water portion first next year? We are going to start with the water work first. And okay. uh, all the utilities, yeah. Dijo que iban a empezar con el agua, las cosas del agua primero. Y no iba a ser hasta el año que viene. 
Mm. Todavía tiene preguntas de eso, ¿no? Sí, pues tengo muchas preguntas. Este, el, los permisos ya se me están venciendo de ahí de la, del building permit. Se me están venciendo ya los permisos, sí. Okay, so he says that his permits are already going to be lapsed. Maggot, if, if I can ask a question really quick, this is Tammy, the inspector. Um, my question is, do they not have to have a driveway before we can pour the approach? That can't, the, the driveway can't come after the fact. Is Am I correct in saying that? Jamie, can you repeat that? I didn't hear it. No problem. It is my understanding that when we do these street rehabs, in order to get the approach poured at the city's expense, they have to have an existing driveway. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay, Senor uh, Ramiro. Dijeron que era para, para comenzar el lado de la ciudad. Um, la gente debe de tener un, um, la entrada existente. Mm. Uh, can, we... can I say something here? Uh, I understand he cannot get a permit. I don't think they will help it. Did you start building your house? By the time you finish your building, we should be in that street. No, espere, señor Ramiro. Están preguntando la pregunta si, si no había un ex existente ahorita que estaban uh, construyendo. Mm -hmm. they, they don't request the drive they request the driveway before the issue for him to use the house. I never heard about him have to build the driveway first. He, he may need uh, to go and check with the city to explain and tell them that. You were cut now. We couldn't hear you. Um, can you ask him to go uh, with the city? Come on, I need to move. Can you ch ask him to check with city planning department if he needs a permit for the driveway after he finish or before he finish building his house? We usually, the, the way it's do done, that they won't let him like live in the house until the driveway is built. He can start building. I think the driveway is the last thing is done, not the first thing. So I'm, I'm trying to understand here, he's saying he cannot get his permit so, did he already build the building or not? He has two locations um, with an added address at that particular line. Those are already done, but he just can't pass any of his inspection because they said that he needs uh, sidewalks and a full driveway um, to both locations before they approve. Okay, um, I don't know how to help him, but um, even if we start today, we won't be able to do the driveway um, soon to him, for him because we have to do the utility first. And it's not only one street, we have to do 23rd and Dodge. We cannot do one, we have to do both of them. They are connected. So we have to finish the utility on both of them to start the bathing on both. Right. He had had this question earlier um, for the inspector and everybody because earlier in the year when the first um, project um, meeting came up, he asked them, you know, if he needed to do and they were doing the uh, driveways, 
but now he was just confused because now he's getting asked to do it, but he didn't want to if it was just going to be torn up no matter when the timing was. But if that's all he needs is that, does he need to do the sidewalks and the driveway for him to pass his inspection? And I want to make sure clear, we are not putting sidewalk on Dodge. Right, Megan? There is no, no sidewalk. We, yeah, there is no sidewalk on Dodge Street. We are not installing new sidewalk on Dodge, only on the 23rd. Uh, we don't have also on 23rd. We are not, okay. So, this two streets, we are not installing anyway sidewalk. Yes. Senor Ramiro? Senor Ramiro, ¿está allí? Sí, aquí estoy. Okay. Estaban preguntando si ha hablado con el Departamento de Planificación, porque no se veía si después um, o antes de, de su casa que, que necesitaba todos esos permisos para completar todo. ¿Pero qué le han dicho a usted? Pues. Eh... No he hablado ahí en la ciudad exactamente. Yo le hablo al inspector para que venga a, a, a la inspección final en las casas. Y ya está todo listo, ya, ya, ya está para habitarse ahí, para vivir. Nomás, nomás este, no me quiere pasar por, por el puro driveway que, está ahí, que no está hecho ahí. Y ya le abrí enfrente, enfrente. Nomás tenía un portón y ahorita ya tiene dos. Le abrí uno para un driveway para la 2317 y otro otro driveway para la 2309 entonces ya ya está listo ahí nomás de o sea para Solo que usted, el driveway usted nomás quiere saber si necesita completar ese driveway sí porque las casas ya están listas nomás de, es lo que me está pidiendo el inspector que que tenga el driveway allá ahí ya para poder pasarme el, el final ya para poderme mover ahí a la casa. Okay, so he just wanted a clarification if that's what he needed to do either way. Like I said, he said he was just confused earlier because he didn't know if it was going to be his driveway that he was going to have to put money towards was going to be torn up later. So if that's all he needs to do, and he said that the homes are done. The only thing that isn't done are the driveways, one to one location and one to the other from Dodge Street. Um, well, I think we can work with him and in, install, in so we don't have to remove it. If if it's an install in the way according to our plans and not in conflict with our utility, I think we can keep it. Um, the way okay. we do construction in these streets, we can uh, um, keep some driveways if we want to. But okay. we may need to work with him and with the inspector to make sure the elevation and everything we are doing because we're changing some things in Dodger Street, right, Megan? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so we okay. can work with him and we can meet with him on site and everything and work with him so we wouldn't twist your, like, remove uh, something he just put new driveway. Ok, señor Ramírez, dijeron que querían a, a trabajar con usted para que puedan ver si usted va, va a hacer el driveway, que, que hablen con ellos también para que puedan ver si, si usted ya lo pone allí, ellos cuando vienen, si, si lo tiene como, como necesite, necesiten ellos, no lo van a romper después cuando vienen a hacer los... Um, los reemplazos de esa calle y, y de allí que, que lo tiene, ¿ok? Ahorita le damos um, a uno o dos um, números para que pueda hablar en español también, para que puedan ir a verlo a usted y para que podamos ver qué es exacto lo que necesita. Mm -hmm. Who can um, he contact from y'all in TPW that he can speak to in Spanish? I can always get a translator, Brenda, uh, to assist me. We've got several uh, Spanish-speaking inspectors that we work together in situations. 
where we have a communication barrier. Uh, I would like to have the address of Mr. Uh, Ramirez's uh, home, if you would, please. Yeah, um, his home. ¿Qué es la dirección, las direcciones que tiene usted, señor Ramiro? Eh, es eh, 23, 23, 09 Dodge y 23, 17 Dodge. Okay, Ms. Tamara, it's 2309 Dodge and 2317 Dodge. Ella um, va a agarrar a alguien que pueda hablar con usted en español también y puedan ir a ver lo que tiene allí para que puedan trabajar juntos en lo que necesite usted. Mm -hmm. And I can send you um, his phone number and his email address, Ms. Chamra. That would be fine. Thank you. So much. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. Gracias. Thank you. Megan, we have a few questions on the on the schedule and um, how long it's been taking. Like it was proposed originally back in 2016 and then brought up again in 2018. Uh, can you address any of the delays that have come up during that? And also, um, are we doing any work around W.J. Turner? Okay, so for the schedule, we had uh, uh, our uh, design meeting, community design meeting back in, uh, I believe, in December last year. And... Uh, uh, our our uh, expectation was to start uh, in mid by by mid October of this year. So I know we are a little bit behind the schedule, but the good thing is that we are going to start the project this week. So I believe we don't have more any um, uh, delay. And uh, as per uh, as per this schedule that you can see it right now. We are going to start the construction after tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, we also had a, a looks like a complaint about potholes. Um, is there any way that we could have one of our pothole crews go through and fill some of the bigger ones uh, on some of the streets that aren't going to see any construction for a year or more? Uh, on which street? Let's see if she put down the street. Um, she also, uh, uh, she didn't have a street listed. Um, if that's your question, please feel free to unmute and let us know which street um, you're asking about. Also, um, if you don't, if we don't, if they don't have a driveway, um, are you building uh, approaches? Uh, yes, we are going to give uh, every uh, property um, one driveway with 11 foot width. Uh, if they are uh, uh, located on on these streets, if we have a dirt. Uh, this driveway or uh, next base driveway, we are going to put a concrete driveway. All right, thank you. Um, I think Albert has a couple questions on Ellis Avenue. Albert, if you want to unmute, feel free to ask questions. Yes, uh, <clears throat> we were at the uh, meeting when back in, I believe it was January 2020, going over this preliminary design. Um, we've got two properties on this street, one on the east side, one on the west side. The uh, east side, we confirmed through the plans that the trees will be removed because of the size of them in the right of way. And the engineer was looking at the trees at 3713 on the west side. Um, our preference is they are removed because I don't really think y'all can build a sidewalk and a curb and gutter with the size of the trees in the right of way. Do you know if any answer has come out on the design for the uh, west side where the trees are? Uh, 
Um, you said uh, 37, 13, Ellis? Yes, 37, 13, Alice. Okay, uh, one minute, please. <clears throat> I'm going to check. Yes, we have marked these three trees to be removed. Okay, so the trees will be removed on uh, both sides of the street then? I, I know on the plans originally they were for the east side to be removed, but so the west side do show them to come out as well? Uh, yes, Thir I, uh, 37, yeah, I 3704 is the east side address that we own, and 3713 mm -hmm. is the west side. I was just confirming that both of those are having the trees removed. Yes, 3704, we have uh, like five trees. Would yes. You move? Yes. Okay, great, great. And, and who is the contractor on this contract? Uh, the contractor is Woody Contractors. Okay, thank you. Uh, th those are the only questions I had. No, he said 3704. Yes, sir. Uh, any other question? Uh, Maggie, the, um, the pothole issue was the 2300 block of 25th. If we could look into that, that would be great. Maggot, I can drive by there and take some photographs and uh, I'll send those to you. And we can determine whether or not, you know, we can uh, let the pothole department take care of that in the meantime, if you'd like. Okay, on uh, 25th Street, right? Correct. 20, 2300 25th Street, is that correct, Jeff? Yes, 2300 block. Yep. Okay. okay. Thank you. I think that's all of the questions in the chat. So if anybody else um, has questions, you can continue to type in chat or feel free to unmute uh, if that's easier for you. Hi, this is Cynthia and I had a question about 25th Street. What side of the sidewalks is that going to be on? What side of the street? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, actually, 25th Street is uh, a very long street. So, if we are going to start from uh, West Long uh, to um, uh, Grayson, the sidewalk will be on the east side. Uh, okay. And after that, we are moving it to the west side uh, from Grayson to uh, Dodge Street, and starting from Dodge Street, um, the sidewalk will be on both sides of the street, all the okay. way to Hannah Avenue. Okay, so your starting point's going to be West Long when you start in May on 25th Street. Yes, but as, uh, as I said, we're going to start first with the utility. Uh, with uh, water and right. uh, uh, sewer, and after that, um, the um, driveway and uh, sidewalks. Okay, so you'll complete that before you move on to the next area. Complete uh, what? Complete the sewer, water, 
and all the utility work and then the street work on the West Long to Grayson. And then after that, then you'll move to the Grayson to Dodge. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, this is Anthony Alegria. I had a quick question on um, 2319 25th Street. We have a concrete driveway already, roughly eight foot wide and about 30 feet long. The driveway starts about maybe six feet off the street. So when you put your driveway in the entranceway, how is that going to work with our driveway, existing driveway? Um, once again, what is the uh, property address? 2319 25th Street. 2319. Yeah, we have a gate, and then the driveway is about eight feet wide. Okay, one minute, please. So right now you have, uh, you say eight feet uh, gate width? Yes, the gate, the opening is about eight feet wide. The driveway, that, that's how wide the driveway is also. And it runs back about 30 feet off the street. Um, as far as a plan, we are going to put, uh, is this a new driveway? No, so we've had it a good 30 years. Okay, uh, we may need to go and uh, check uh, because my plan is showing we have uh, 13 feet driveway. We are matching the existing. But we may need uh, to go and double check. Yeah, because uh, if you if you went over 11 foot, you would also be able to cover the water main, or the whole the whole area of the water mains. That also, we would have to open our gate up wider. Um, I see we are going to relocate the water uh, meter. Okay. Uh, out of the driveway. Okay. Um, yeah, but I, I I just need to double it to make sure that we have. Uh, enough width for the driveway. Yeah, because it's right. And currently it's only maybe maybe eight feet wide. Um, okay. Um Leah, can we can we double check this one? Yes, we will take a look at it. Okay. okay. And so, we're also um, getting a sidewalk there, you said? There's a sidewalk there, yes. Okay. I, um, when we're doing the construction, how does it work as far as access to and from the property? I have a handicapped mother, so she's not able to really walk very far distance, like if we have to park somewhere else, or I'm not sure how that works. So usually uh, during the construction, you will have access to your uh, property and your driveway, maybe only um, when we are replacing your driveway and removing the existing and put new concrete, this time maybe you will not have access to uh, to park on the driveway, but you can park on the street close to your property. So most of the time during the construction, you will have access to your uh, property and your driveway. And okay. before, okay. before we start the construction, one week in advance, uh, our inspector and the contractor will go and put uh, a notice on your door uh, mm -hmm. just to let you know we are going to start the construction. If any, um, if we need uh, you to, to remove the car from the driveway, 
we will ask you for that. But as I said, you the most time of the construction, you will be able to work uh, on your driveway. Okay. Also, one thing you said um the driveway the length is going to be at least ten feet. What you guys add. So how does that affect what we already have? Will you tear up what we have to add it onto it? Or how is that going to work? So the 10 feet length is, measure, is measured from the street towards your uh, property. Mm -hmm. to, uh, currently to the you end have, of... it's, Yeah, currently from the street to, the, to our current driveway, it's maybe six feet. So that's roughly four feet or so further into our property you'd be going. Um, so will you have to... I really need to have a look on this driveway, but uh, as as I can see, we have a five foot approach, uh, driveway approach, and we have another five foot for sidewalk uh, uh, part of the driveway. So we have 10 feet length mm -hmm. driveway. That's not in our house. The way it's the way our, our property line for the gate, you have maybe five feet from the street. Um, again, you say the address is 2319? 2319, yes. Um, we may need to go and double check this area because I see we have enough right of way in front of your uh, property. Okay. Uh, but so, uh, sure, we um, we still have time. We can go and double check. Okay, appreciate that. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, any other question? I don't see uh, anything else. Uh, if you guys uh, need follow up. Uh, and haven't put your phone number or address in the chat, please email it uh, to Magan so we could follow up with you. Uh, his, um, his email is on there, or you can give him a call. Uh, so we make sure we can get back in touch with you if we're doing any follow-up. Okay, thank you so much uh, for joining us tonight and uh, looking forward to work on your street so, so soon. Thank you so much.